Okay, we are live. We are live. Good morning. Hi, Welcome, hi. everyone. Welcome to the K Puddle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, am I on? Is my mic on? Hello. Here, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. There you go. Look on. at that. Okay. Look at that. Now we're good. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, so this is where we get together every Thursday. We thank you for joining us. Those of you who are repeat offenders, or <laughs> probably not offenders, repeat <laughs> visitors. Uh, I don't know why that rolled off the tongue so easy, repeat offenders. But repeat visitors, thank you. And those who are joining us for the first time, listen, this is a stream that is available on YouTube, on Facebook. This is also a podcast that you can go back and listen to as many times as you want. Um but uh, welcome. This is the entire K92.3 staff here at one of the biggest stations. And I'm going to say this, and I don't want this to be taken in the wrong way, but this is one of the most important radio stations when it comes to the country music genre. The reasons behind that is because of the amount of exposure that happens here with Orlando. And the artists know that. The country labels know that. Uh, so that's it. I, I always kind of like to do just kind of like a reset. You know, remind everybody what you're listening to and why we afford uh, this space, why we think it's important for us as a cast to even get together as a cast of friends. So, Melissa over there. Hi. Ashley, what's up? Hi. Slater. Howdy. <laughs> and then, uh, at the same time. and then you. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's a big announcement we're working on behind the scenes, y'all. Yeah. So for those, yeah, for it's those who don't know yes. what goes on behind the it scenes is, when you but... see. An announcement come down. This is a really bad angle. When you see an announcement come down and it's like it's a a show, then it's usually Ashley and I that are posting on all of social media. Oh, I just to get, got it. You got it. Okay. Ooh. If you have the who nope. has the K ninety two three app, everybody in the chat, go. Go. I guess raise I get your a hand because you just you're in the inside and found that announcement. That's a real good. Up. So you guys did get it. Yep. Because my oh there it is. Okay. Ooh, it's pushed. Okay, it's out. Okay, well, why don't you say it? You know what, Melissa, why don't we give you the opportunity to go ahead and, and give the announcement to everybody? Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. yeah. We all say it at the same time. It's, it, nah, come started. on. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, did anybody see it yet? Well, so it's a guy. Okay, so we're going to start off. It's a guy who has sold out the Amway before wow. and actually sold wow. it out. It was his first sold out show ever. Bill Cosby. Uh, it's still not okay. Um, it's Kane Brown. <laughs> Kane Brown. Brown. It's Kane Brown. Brown. Oh, and he's bringing Jordan wow. Davis with him, which oh. Melissa loves Jordan Davis. But I love Kane Brown too. But true. I... Uh, so so Kane Brown, that is a big deal because Ashley and I we talked about it this morning. How these concerts, especially with us having the uh, the availability to now be able to say these things. So like you know, we talked about Eric Churches yesterday. We talked about Kane Browns today. Uh, we've already got people like John Michael Montgomery that are here in oh town God, this I'm weekend. So excited for that tomorrow night. Yeah, Melissa's that's going to be on stage. Uh, and then Saturday night is Matt Stell. So the point of me saying all this is that they're coming back. Concerts they're are coming back. back. It's almost like putting a pulse, a pulse on uh, on the shows and live entertainment. You know, so we have tickets for you to win for Kane all weekend and then all next week. So there are tickets coming your way. Well, a lot of info. And I love it. Look, we, we got a little bit of time. Hold on. on let, our let, let me send out some shout outs. For some reason, this webcam is not working. So I'm having to talk to you here. But I wanted to send some shout outs to some of the people that are in there. Like we've got Shelly Elder in there, uh, Cheyenne, Darla, Rebecca, Laura. And if you're listening to us via the podcast, which is only audio, these are people who are in the chat who we've grown very close to over the past, what? Two months that we've been, three months that we've been doing this? We started in November. So oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you we're know, into four months. Time is, time is just uh, whatever today, right? Does anyone else still have to count on their fingers? I'm just like really embarrassing. I mean, my daughter, she's <laughs> not yet three. No, I like, do too. No. <laughs> months yeah, no, when you're trying to figure out like something simple that is, uh, trust me, I get it. I've been at my workouts, so they'll say you have to go do six calories on a rower or six calories on a bike. And I'm in mm. this. And you're rotating, so just somebody six? already. Well, the, it'll be different ones, and then it's really hard. Like you have to go really, really hard. So if they already had, like two or three people go on it, that means that would be like twelve. Then if you're the next one to go on, then you have mm -hmm. to add another six calories. Why do you say calories? Why do you say cal? You, like you actually know what calories you're burning? The the grower machine tells you. Oh. Uh, but that's why I'm saying only six. But I guess six is a lot. That's yeah. Like it takes like a probably a sixty seconds. 
It would but be nice really to know fast. where the calories are coming off, right? I if mean... they're like, they're like, oh, the way you're doing that's the back of your neck, and you're like, oh, well, if I'm, I'm gonna do that all day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but we haven't mentioned also for those who missed the announcement yesterday, who's coming to the M Y as well, because mm-hmm. that one is a big one too Eric, that we haven't Eric? talked about on this. Yeah. Yeah, Church. yeah. Our favorite chief. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so Eric Church, I mean, of course, that's a big one because in 2020, he won Entertainer of the Year. And he's up for it at the ACMs this year, which is happening next weekend. Is he Is he the... Uh... We still don't know if we're winning or not. Uh, Gabby Barrett oh, yeah, did just right? find out, though, that she won Best New Female Artist. Really? So, well, uh, how did she find out early? Well, they usually, for the new them. artists, they always find out early and whoever's hosting usually calls them up or they send oh, that's video cool. messages this time. All right, so really quickly, I want to I want to talk about this really quick because because that was the special announcement was the fact that Kane Brown is coming to town. Uh, yesterday's special announcement was Eric Church. I mean, both, uh, you know, Eric Church. I, I think right now, I, hold on, like even in my brain, I'm saying both equally as big. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So can we talk about the experience of Kane Brown? Because I always like to bring it to, especially people who are trying to make it. Uh, the Luke Combs is out there, you know, the people who are just like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I could ever be a star. Kane Brown, he started with YouTube, started with YouTube. And now here he is where Melissa said it, that he's already sold out the Amway once. Yeah. And somebody said that they were there at the last show and what a good show he was. So Kane Brown, like was really surprising. I mean, his songs are great, but in person, you never know how they're going to sound. And I was pleasantly surprised that Kane like actually can carry a tune and is really good. Well, and I think what's really cool with the Kane Brown show the last time he was at the Amway was that when you're a newer artist, and I think back then, 2019, he wasn't new, but he was still like just getting up and running with a full tour. And um, they started off only selling half of the arena. And then they opened up more tickets, and then they opened up more tickets, and then they opened up more tickets. And eventually they pushed the stage so far back that the entire arena was sold mm-hmm. out. And that originally wasn't the main like the original right. number of tickets yeah. that was going to be sold. You know you're a superstar if the seats where you can't actually see the stage at all are still sold. sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Do <laughs> you ever have to sit in those seats? I'm sure many of you and many of us, I mean, we're a little spoiled now working in radio, but I remember my first concert, Spice Girls, was at the Orlando Arena here before it was the Amway, and we were in the nosebleeds, and I still cried because I was so excited. Just uh, the <laughs> best. Were ants. The best thing in the world is hearing Michael Ray. He did a, there was an audio clip that came down of him talking about the first concert he ever went to, which was Garth Brooks at the TD Waterhouse. Yeah, when he said TD Waterhouse. (laughs) Yeah, what used to be called. Um, (laughs) So it was probably the first year that Ashley and I got paired together. And the both of us, uh, we went to the CMAs. Remember when I ended up getting the ticket? (laughs) So we got two tickets and you ended up, uh, what are we? We we did it. We got like one pair or something, and I think we went, and then our boss at the time was like, oh, yeah, you guys can have this other pair. Yeah, so I got the other pair, and I was solo. Like, Ashley had her husband, which wasn't her husband at the time, but you guys sat together, and you guys had some pretty good seats. And then I said, well, I'll use these, and I'll go ahead. (laughs) I was sitting, y'all, I was sitting behind the stage, (laughs) off to the side of the stage. So what? Uh, so actually, hold on. I'm not going to complain because there was uh, there was nobody around me. There was yeah. nobody around me, and I, I, I mean, all the way up in the nosebleeds. But I could see all the action happening backstage. Oh, that's so I, cool. Yeah, so I could see the person with the uh, uh, you know, with the earpiece saying, you know, Blake, Blake, it's time, it's time, come on, come on. You know, taking you that person. Different, you had a different view than anybody else. It was you gotta, all. You got to be a real nerd, though, right? To like that stuff. Like, I mean, like we're nerds. Yeah, that's, we are. We are. We've been spoiled to see it in good seats, where it's like, okay, this is a cool, different viewer. Mm. Even though I think you left. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> so so hold on, I I saw the whole opening. I saw the whole opening, okay, and then I watched. I watched like probably like a good twenty minutes, and I was like, okay, so I've taken enough selfies by myself. <laughs> um, I've seen enough of the action to see how it's all being run on a professional professional level, like this CMAs. Uh, and then I went to Morimoto's, <laughs> which is in the same I mean, hotel. No, that's a great point, though, because the stuff that we see is never on a live TV thing. So, like, there's no time. I mean, there is a time set, like a time crunch. Yeah. But it's never, like, to the second when commercials are going to start. And you're like, and they're starting no matter what. So these people have to be on stage at this point in time and off the stage at this point in time. And if not, you're getting cut off on national TV. Yeah, but like, we don't have teams, that kind of pressure. Wait, you? There was one that you were when you, was, when you were still drinking. Obi doesn't drink anymore now. So that's why I say that. But 
when we were there and we were at the bar or something and we were waiting on drinks and if you don't have your drinks in time even for when it's back to the show mm. they won't like, let you in they hold you back you can't go back you miss that performance so the next commercial break. Yeah. Yeah. Um, real quick for the people that are just joining us, they're asking how they can get tickets, who's coming. Um, so it's Kane Brown at the Amway Center with Jordan Davis, December 3rd. And tickets, you can win them all weekend long with K92.3 all next week. And then we're also going to have a pre-sale code for you next week to get them before anyone else. Boom. So that, that was two big announcements back to back. Yeah, and Eric yeah. Church, the name of the tour is what? Eric Church in the round. Oh, man. Yeah, again. Yeah. We got again to her. Okay. So, so do we know... There's probably going to be no opener because it's Eric Church. Is he going to do the whole thing himself? I don't know. I mean, that's usually what he does. Yeah. He usually has a three-hour set by himself. But I wouldn't be shocked if he brought someone with him either. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, those people who are huge fans of Eric Church, like, they really get their money's worth out of a show. I mean, the dude performs for three hours. You know, like, I, I, I mean. I, I, I saw him um, in Tampa, like, when I was in promo still. And I remember because I was there with Ashley and our old boss and Neil, who was your guys' morning show oh, producer yeah, for a little bit. And you guys couldn't, you got us seats last minute because we weren't supposed to come with you originally. So you guys were like, oh, sorry, they're going to be floor seats. Like, <laughs> it's pretty miserable as a joke. <laughs> like, obviously, we were so excited to get floor seats. For real. It, it smelled of a lot of people smoking smoking oh, some stuff that, the marijuana. You know, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, and then there were also Just like people. a Jimmy Buffett show. Oh, yeah, it was, it was an experience, but one that I will never forget. It was so cool to see. To see Eric Church, you know, three well, hours worth of music. I mean, three hours is no joke. I mean, I, I can't even tell you when was the last time that I got to put in a good solid two hours in a playlist that I just hit go and, and let a playlist run oh, for two hours. Yeah. When? When you're in the pool, maybe uh, uh, working out. We, we don't even work out for two hours, and this guy's performing for three. Did anyone on um, on our Facebook Live right now hear the John Michael Montgomery interview we did? Because that was super cool with Tomorrow Night Show and then Matt Stell Saturday. I know we talked about it earlier, but... That was a cool moment and thing to be able to talk to him first time ever. If yeah. you if you listen, like so, Sl Slater and Obi are the two in here that really don't go back in their country roots. But Melissa and I loved John I, Michael Montgomery. I have a signed cassette tape from when I was seven years old by right? John Michael Montgomery because my aunt's sister used to be his nanny. So what? So I have a signed cassette tape from when I was like. Your aunt's sister. Wait, and isn't there a tie-in with Eddie, too? Yeah, so the same, my aunt, the same sister, dated Troy and then married my mom's brother after. And then her sister nannied for John Michael. That's what my tattoo is. It's 859, so it's the same area code as that that yeah. whole Kentucky, Lexington, Danville, Stanford, like that whole area because my whole family's from there. So Nice. Fun. So I'm going to walk up to him and be like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like... <laughs> Here's my cassette tape. I am bringing my cassette tape. I am showing him that. That's I am bringing cool. it. That is cool, and I think For he'll sure. like that as well. Uh, but John Michael Montgomery, when we were in here, I, I said, I said, man, so so let me grab a couple of his hits just so this way I can kind of re remind the audience who he is too. Sometimes we need reminders. So, sometimes we don't even know what songs they sing until they sing them on stage, and we're like, oh, you sing that song. So he sing, y'all, I swear, by the shine, you know, all, that one, uh, what was the other one? Uh, sold by the uh, Grinning County Auction. He, he didn't know that one. Oh, you don't no, know that it's, one. It's, it's, it's I swear no, and uh, and and. You know his songs. Oh, by the Hopper. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> sold, sold <laughs> is like it's one of those auctioning songs. It's really yeah, fast. That, yeah. that was the first song I learned every single word to. So imagine seven-year-old Melissa in the back of a car, big annoying as crap, <laughs> singing that song over and over and over and over. Darla, I love that. It's I swear and I can love you like that. Right. I yeah. can love you well, like I, that. See, I knew that song from John Michael, <laughs> but I also know it from uh, what is the, the All for One group. No, yes, but what's the song or the movie? Just Friends? Is it Just oh, Friends? The Chris, yeah, yeah. With Ryan Reynolds, the Christmas movie? Sure. Okay, okay, that's in there. I, yeah. I mean, he's it's yeah, he's in it. Or Ryan Reynolds sings it, and that's how I. But <laughs> I what songs? It. What songs? Because for, forget about All for One. Like even as I played them here in the studio, like I, I often have to Be apologize to Ashley. Yeah, I love, I that, love one. that one. Uh, Lee Bryce sang that one on his show when he was in town like a few weeks ago. So what? good, so um, good. Somebody just said. Post Malone did a cover of John Michael Montgomery. Yes, yes. Uh, I think Steve sent that to me, our boss. It's recently? Yeah, uh, I think, it, I don't think that he sent it to me recently, but I don't think he, the he video came recently. out recently. I need to find this. What do you guys think of all that Post Malone cover in the country? A lot of people seem to. Well, and that. what's cool is um, so when Garth came to town at the barn in Sanford, literally the next week, 
John Langston played at the barn and John Michael Montgomery's son opened for John Langston. Oh, so cool. they were, it was the same weekend that um, John Michael was at UCF. So it was like a whole family weekend. Well, and it was fun to hear about his background. Like, I mean, he, he, he really didn't have a choice in music because they grew up around music where in their living room was a drum oh, yeah. set. They had instruments. Uh, uh, and it wasn't something that their parents forced them to do. Right. Didn't he say that his mom played, the played the, yeah, they were butchers and his mom played the drums for his dad's band. Wow. And that's how those two met. And, and so that family, this is how we yeah. nerd out. Over artists, guys. <laughs> well, no, because real glimpse well, into art. Well, but I, I think there's some value in knowing a little bit of the behind the scenes of the artist, because then, you know, the next time you buy an album or the next time you fall in love with a song, it, it, it means more. You know what I mean? So not, not to me, for John Michael Montgomery, like now for me, it means a lot more. When I hear his songs, I'm like, oh, yeah, that dude's had it in his DNA he since his family it, tree. Though, did he? Huh? Did Melissa, did Post Malone sing it? The song was playing at the same time, so it wasn't uh, like they took the vocals off and he sang it, but he sang it with the song. Yeah. But I know I know Post Malone's a huge country fan because we've seen him doing Shania Twain covers. We've yeah. seen him doing, like, yeah, he's he's a fan. His country music is the best music. Titusville Man says he saw him at an old Orlando arena back in the 90s. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so fun. 90s country is the best. Well, good. Well, I hope that you guys are able to make some of these shows if you feel comfortable enough. I mean, Friday we have one tomorrow, and mm -hmm. then we've got one on Saturday. Yeah, and we're going to be at 1 o'clock with Melissa and myself, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Double win. Nice. And um, who's at SeaWorld? Craig Morgan? Mm -hmm. On Sunday. Yeah. On Sunday. Next weekend, Joe Nichols is at SeaWorld. So, yeah. I think oh, that's, that's crazy. Like, I feel like we're back to business. I was going to say, imagine this time last year. It was like, don't we couldn't even be doing this in the same room together. No. No. no, I'm glad. Glad we're here. <laughs> hey, I got a question. So, why is Scotty not? Is it because he's still sleeping? Why? Why can't? <laughs> why can't Scotty actually be on this with us? He went out of Why can't? Be on this why can't us? Nick Allen? Nick Allen, by the way, was taking the weekend off, and Melissa is filling in for him. No, <laughs> later and I played rock paper scissors on the air yesterday to figure out who was covering the shift on Saturday. <laughs> Fail. You never so that do my paper. That's super behind the scenes. For anyone that doesn't know who Scotty is, he does nights now. He took over for Chloe, but in the radio world, this is really behind the scenes. Like he's doing it from Tampa. So And that's one reason I think he definitely could be a part of this. He's just got a lot of other things. He is his. a he full time is. morning show producer. He now. thinks he thinks he's better uh, than us. We can no, say no, it. no, oh okay. My gosh, okay, so it. so um uh so can I take the blame? Oh yeah, I ha I haven't even sent him the link. Maybe he'll join us on the next or one. The yeah. other, or the other new dude. Nick, Nick Allen, we should definitely have him in, hey, especially because... Nick is also, like, an air traffic controller. Yeah. So he's yeah. got, like, he's got responsibilities job. to make sure planes don't crash into each other, okay? Pretty sure he yeah. could do this in half a camera. <laughs> well, Nick well, is, a, is a very important person. Still, <laughs> nevertheless, when you decide to join the K92-3 staff, you need to make time for this as well. Yeah. So, so that's it. So from now on, I'm going to send right. the link out to you guys. So if you guys are watching... Right? He's definitely Scott, Both you guys, watching. Nick, Scotty, <laughs> I'm sending you guys the link. Next time, you guys are going to be uh, okay, part of it, and then we can introduce Chloe, everybody to you. Pivot real quick because Slater had a monumental moment in his life last night, and he offered and he texted me for advice about mm -hmm. it. I, brought, <laughs> I, I no longer have my virginity when it comes to going to Waffle House. I've actually never been to Waffle House, so what? I'm now the next person. Oh my go. gosh, you guys have to Waffle House outing. I'm just usually at Denny's. Ooh. They have okay. a over my hand. Yeah. So, so good. Expectations of Waffle House would be what? I mean, we know it's a diner. It's about it's the roadside diner. Truckers can stop at 24 mm -hmm. hours. So bacon, egg, sausage. should yeah. really not be that high because it is a diner. When I mean, how to, good are the waffles there, though? That's that's like they're called Waffle House. Their waffles should be their priority. Well, well let me tell you. And I knew I knew that Matt, Ashley Sussman, I knew for a fact that he loved it because even their wedding he had a groom's cake that was shaped like the waffle house diner yeah right? i had it made <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't just make this up yeah. that's love so i knew so yesterday i knew i had a 60 second review coming up that i post every tuesday going to waffle house and i said well i'm gonna go there at night what should i get so uh i got some a waffle that i didn't have to pay for Huh? Because it was part of the cheapskate deal. Oh. I get it sent to my email, so a free waffle that I got. I think you definitely do what that. What did you think of the waffle? The how waffle did you, was how delicious. How did you eat it? Did you put syrup on it, butter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I served it, but also because I was filming it. You ever look through and and don't actually look in reality? So the sun hit my eye, so I got maple syrup all over the table. <laughs> so, hold on. Question. Do you put fruit on your waffles or chocolate? 
Because like some people will put sweet no, no, and some I people do, will I put the, I do the maple syrup and butter. It's plain. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess this is a question for everyone else then. Because there are two types of people in this world, especially pancakes too. Do you put fruit or do you go sweet? I like, I, I, because I will never put fruit on my, on my waffles. On the Belgian waffles. Pancakes. You, you won't put fruit? Heck no. If you put fruit in yogurt. Chip, you don't put it on waffles. Do you, do you, <laughs> yeah. ever, you don't ever have uh, uh, pancakes that are, that are like banana pancakes or blueberry oh, yeah. pancakes, mm. chocolate chip pancakes? Chocolate chip. That's a different. That's oh, you're okay with chocolate chip? That's not a fruit. What's wrong with the fruit? It's even healthier. Yeah, it's it's healthy. That's exactly. If I mean pancakes, I'm not looking to be healthy. It's the least fruit fruit, right? If it goes on a waffle, like what? if you do a caramel banana. Oh, mm. Kiki says a caramel banana nut yes. waffle that's that I get every time. I'm trying to find this cake for you guys. I, I think I, I think anytime you can you can squeeze in some real f minerals and and what is, what is that? Some sort oh, of a, Chloe's oh, watching, guys. Oh, yeah. Everyone say hi to Chloe. She's watching. Hey, right Gregory now. was just hi. asking about you. There. Did you make it? What? Yeah, that's the that was a cake. Oh, your cake. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Anyway, what did Olivia think? You uh, Olivia, Olivia loved, loved it. Olivia the entire time, and then she went from that to I got uh, by recommendation of Ashley, which she gets every time she says. Uh, which was a scramble bowl with sausage, hash brown, cheese, onions. Um, so I did that, and she kept. That's kind of hard to mess up, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. in a bowl. And what do you do? Did you get them smothered, covered, splattered? I, I didn't because you said Matt does it that way, and I did the way that you did. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a Cracker Barrel guy. I'm a Cracker Barrel guy. I, I just think the uh, I think the quality is a little bit better than like a Denny's. Not even on the same level. Like Waffle House is a truck stop. Like, I think that's why my husband lo loves it. Cracker Barrel is definitely, I think, a step above. Like, you, yeah. that's, a, that's the Yeah, and, and, and not on my Waffle House. I mean, Waffle House, it, it, you know what you're going to get. Yeah. Exactly. So good. So you know what you got and you enjoyed it? Yeah, but what, what I was missing, I do like the Cracker Barrel, the oversized checkers that you can play on the porch oh. of a Cracker Barrel, or that game with the golf, uh, okay. the golf team. You can definitely yeah. play games at Waffle House. They're just outside with... The, yeah, I don't know. They're not in. They're not inside the waffle they house. Got you, you can compare stickiness of menus. Yeah, that's true. They, I, the, they put the plate down, and it all stuck there. And I was like, <laughs> "Go for it!" You know. No, oh, it was yeah, it was yeah, delicious, yeah. and it was yeah. sticky because of me. So, mm -hmm. you know. sure. Not well, good. No. Uh, <laughs> so, so Chloe's in the chat. So, if you're listening to us, I'll do another reset as we are live on YouTube. We're also live on our Facebook. This is a stream that we afford our audience, and ourselves, y'all, because really you get to sit and be a part of our uh, our cast getting together. It's the only time during the week that we get to see each other's faces. And really, with you guys, it turns into one giant, beautiful therapy session. Chloe, our last morning show producer, is in the chat right now, and uh, that is what we covered in the last episode. We covered what, what exactly we're looking were, for. Were there any applications set? Yet? Yes. yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Has okay, anybody made it? Are you guys going to make it public? And do like it, a it top is top five. Top oh, three. I see what you're saying. Any of that. Yeah. I don't know on the real level of uh, <laughs> like making it public what, who's what's in the, the running. Word, like HR, how far they'll let us go with it. Are yeah, you allowed but, to have gender specifics? Like if no. you want no. a guy or a girl. No. No. Uh, that is completely illegal for any business. <laughs> or blonde, blonde or brunette. Any no. of that. Like no. one eye or two. Like, do you need? No. <laughs> No, I think it's interesting because I think even at a point we were going to leave it up to the audience. Like, audience, why don't you help us choose? Oh, they're going to choose the worst. But exactly. <laughs> so, so, so here and no, no disrespect to you guys, but the audience will oftentimes go for whatever's shiny and bright, mm. you know, or or whatever's you know. Hey, this guy makes a lot of videos or whatever. But then in here, he may be a a, a douche to work mm, with. He's going to be a nightmare. A real yeah, dad. yeah, and all of us have to work with him. Meanwhile, you guys pick them, and we don't want to be. Or her, right? And we don't want to be disrespectful to your choice. So we decided to take that option off of the table and just kind of really vet through this because it, it is a big deal. Uh, you know, we talked about the ACMs a little earlier on this show and the fact that we're up for one. That's a big deal. So, uh, so there is a, a fine balance of we do want to find somebody who's new, somebody who's fresh, and but at the same time, we're we're about to drop a load on you from a real show that's really producing, really making some moves. And it's, we talked about this. We talked no. about this um that we can't really take off until we find a producer because we, like Opie and I, <laughs> we, we you, were like, well, you got to tell them the call. You got to yeah. tell them the call that you gave me the other day where you were like, okay, so if you ever feel like you want a break, like <laughs> you know, just just let me know and we'll put together like uh, I'm like, uh, uh, you let me know too. Yeah. I mean, because while we were both in here, so you guys 
for wine years and years ago and there was someone else there would be moments i would have to be in here by myself and do it alone and that's not like the best flow ideal um, for a morning show for a morning show especially now we've just leaps and bounds the show has grown so much that yeah. that's not going to be the best product for you so we're, we're like okay how do we do this because there's going to be days that we have to take off i'm going oh by the way i'll tell yeah, you yeah but uh, it's always off. fun if Obi wants to take off making this an all-girl <laughs> cool. morning show again. next week <laughs> right Next, yeah, week. next week, I'm out. <laughs> what are you going to say, Selena? Uh, we are actually going to be out next week because we have the uh, ACM interview, so there won't be a K huddle next week. Oh, that's oh, oh yes, man! I'm so glad you brought that up. Um, uh, again, what? Well, here, why don't you educate yeah, them yeah. on? So, on what... so Wednesday and Thursday, they usually within our company, there's a bunch of country radio stations who usually come together and we do a radio row the last little bit virtual. Um, we, Obi and Ashley and Melissa and myself are going to be doing the interviews, uh, but just here, just for you, uh, specifically like K92.3, and we're going to be able to showcase some of the biggest talents nominated for an ACM. And we'll find out next Sunday night who wins, but those interviews are going to be done on Wednesday and Thursday virtually and probably rolled out Thursday through the weekend on, uh, our Facebook page yeah. and Instagram. On that note, Hey, I'll post in here. I'm always curious when we do these interviews, whether you hear them from any of us on the air, are you ever in your car and you listen to the interviews and you're like, man, I wish they would ask this. Like, cause I feel like we're always so in the moment, our interviews turn into conversations, which is actually something, you know, interviewers have to work on. It's a good, good quality to let an interview turn into a conversation. So I've always leap into the next question. Yeah. But I always wonder, I'm like, is there a lingering question out there that you guys wish we asked these artists? You don't have to wait and answer. Like, well, uh, we're okay. waiting. Well, in my in my head, I was like, I I like my question. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, okay. So, um, what's going on this weekend? I have a baby. Besides Kane Brown tickets. Oh, you mean in our life? Yeah, <laughs> what are oh, we doing? Like? You're going on a boat, aren't you? Me? Yeah. No, next weekend. Oh. No, yeah, next weekend. But I am going to John Michael Montgomery, and I think everyone in, well, I th I don't think you are, Slater. No. But Obi, no. you're going, right? Yeah. And Ashley's going? Yes. I'm going to make you guys come up on stage with me. <laughs> That's um, completely up to you. <laughs> you hey, we can make it a party, <laughs> and we'll bring a cutout of Slater. We have one of him in a in a bunny suit. Yeah, why aren't you coming, man? It's reindeer as well. It's reindeer. Why aren't you coming? Why aren't I? Um, bring, bring a date. Mm, I don't know. Bring don't a know baby. going to go. So, so tomorrow... Uh, I will say I am going to set a record in Aquatica's new Riptide Racer. Oh, cool. Look at this here. So I, I don't know how to show Are you going show to this. that thing? Yeah, I'm going at 68 feet in the air. So tomorrow morning I'm actually going and, uh, and going to bring back my shorts. Uh, what, what do you, so what is this? A, a, a slide, a flume, a, this, oh, a, this a, a propeller? A water, this is a water ride. I wish. A I water jet? This? Uh, yeah. This is going to like hurt your head. There you okay, go. But Let me that's see. what see. it is there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. You're going to so, record yourself on that? Huh? Yeah. There's no way you're going to start your phone on a Facebook that. Live from that. So that here, I don't know if you can see if it's working, but that's going to be me. Where right is it here. at? Uh, this what is this is at Aquatica. Oh, so Aquatica. The Riptide Racer. It is the largest dueling, highest, fastest in the world. Um, and you're going, <laughs> there's no way your phone's surviving. You know that. what? I got an otter box. You know, like yeah, I but... otter not do it. <laughs> and you know what, though? It's going to, if you're going live, it's literally going to, you're going to lose it in the water and then it's just going to sit there live and everyone's going to be trying to Can't find you it. Get one of those. <laughs> Get a GoPro on your head and strap yeah. it in the night. Yeah. Man, what kind of budget do you think he has? I might. Yeah, yeah. I would rather stay amateur than GoPro. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, and speaking of of very dangerous not dangerous but <laughs> very adrenaline rushing rides uh the Velosta coaster that they announced at universal yeah. is coming out in june which is the tallest fastest roller coaster like of all time i think which can i just say i don't know about you guys but i'm at a certain age now where whiplash <laughs> <laughs> you know, i used to be the hands down adrenaline dr junkie roller coaster rider ask my mom she's in here but I cannot, like, if I get any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can thank your five car accidents for that. That's true. <laughs> well, it's funny because right before you said that, I was going to admit that as I get older, like, some of these rides that boast to be the tallest, the fastest, like, I'm like, mm, 
See, but I still love that stuff. I think but it's really hey, cool. But hey, we're desensitized cool in here, though, because when you're not in Florida and you hear tallest, fastest, you're like, I am there. We're like... <sighs> mm-hmm. So, like, on iDrive, there's right next to the Orlando, uh, the, the big Ferris wheel, so the Icon Ferris wheel, which is huge in itself. A lot of people are scared to go on that, even though it crawls uh, up, but it's just so high. But the, y'all see the swing, the swing ride oh, no. next to it, right? So there's the there's the pole I can totally do that has all the swings that you sit in, and then the pole goes up 400 feet in the air, and all those swings and uh, some of those things, man. There was a time, yeah, there was a time that I was like, strap a microphone on me, yeah, let's crazy. go live, let's go do this. And now today, like I'm looking at those things, I'm like, even for I'll hold everybody's bags. No, I'll hold I everybody's totally bags. Swing and I'll, I'll, stay totally back, I'll stay back with the kids. Anything that doesn't go fast because I get motion sickness like real easy. Mm. You just bring a bag. Yeah, you're going to crap the rest of the you're night? Good to rest go. of the day? No, you, you, you're boot and rally. It's just like just on a Thursday night, they might wild out too much. <laughs> you watch too much MTV over there. <laughs> That's true. That's like tomorrow. But try not to get too crazy tomorrow night. Because it's always trouble when we all get together. Then Melissa's husband shows up with shots. And Yeah, like, mm. yeah. when my uh, when my parents, because they were going to go, and then when they heard Steve was going, they were like, uh, I don't know if we can handle that. We got stuff to do Saturday morning, so. Uh. Wow. So he's a party boy like that? No. Just when he gets in the mood. Because he works so early during the week. So on the weekends, when he is actually, like, out and having a good time. He, he enjoys himself. himself. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Every <laughs> day like of the week. We just like to live our life, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and especially when you're listening to John Michael Montgomery, you just got to have a few beers and a shot or two. That's going to be good. All right. So so join us tomorrow for that. Saturday is going to be Matt Stell. There's no we're reason. Not going. We always post to the social too, just in case. Oh, we're and if you have our app, this weekend we're giving away tickets to, um, uh, not this weekend, right now. There's tickets for John Michael and Matt Stell up on the K923 app. I'm, I was thinking this weekend we have Luke Bryan uh, album, his album releases this weekend. So we've got the album for you on the app. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff of on the stuff. app. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good, man. I, f- I feel I feel like we're energized. <laughs> Kenneth, this... I'll repost it for you here because I'll have all the info typed out. This station again, like when I when I started off in the beginning talking about how important this station was to country music and whatnot, like it, it is absolutely true, y'all. I'm I'm really not trying to gush on us, but like this stations in Texas, stations in Oklahoma, stations in New York that just aren't as busy as us, and I mean, they're um, not even open as much, you know. Yeah. Like the luxury we have of so many businesses being open and operating and and like, willing, like the barns that are paying these artists to come in and perform, it's so yeah. huge. So that's it. That's it. We just always like to, to wrap wrap our arms around the love and realize that we've got it pretty good here. So uh, so anybody else want to say something? We're hitting right around the mark of 33 minutes. I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Um, I am posting in the comments of this live the link to the, the blog that has all the information on Kane Brown's stuff. Nice. Where you can win tickets, when you can get tickets, because we're going to have that pre-sale code for you. So I'm putting that in the link or the link in the comments. Awesome. And don't okay. forget, nominate those frontliners still. Blake Shelton. Yes, that is. That's been really fun hearing yeah. from all these cent- uh, Central Florida frontliners all week. There's been over 700 entries. Well, I told Ashley, I said this is something that we gotta we, we gotta find a way after Blake is 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 has moved on and and has to obviously go home after he's here. We have to do something with those. We have to do something with either keeping that alive or something. Oh, like yeah. It's... There's going to be um, Frontliner free lunch that I do every week. We're just putting it on hold right now because we needed to. Because of this. The Blake. Yeah, we need to. Awesome. We want him nominating for the Blake thing right now. But coming next week after all this. or I don't know when it's over. Whenever the Blake thing is over, I think it's next week or the week after that we're. You'll have plenty of um, entries to pull from. Yeah. yeah. So we, we're still getting people free lunch and gift cards to a whole bunch of stuff and still trying to say thank you every way we can. And I did see somebody wrote in like, how do you guys pay? for the front liners that free lunch well the people at the back of the line they're forced to <laughs> <laughs> literally has said that joke three or four times and still laughs just as hard at himself every time <laughs> saving that up <laughs> the whole time can, can you imagine being at the back of the line and somebody telling you yeah it's a little Sorry. bit extra you, you got to pay for that person. Early bird gets the worm. The late bird pays for the early bird. Well, and then you feel bad because you're like, what did they do? That's so great. Well, they're a nurse and they work 24-hour shifts. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So everybody put your hands in the middle. Remember that you could always find our, our podcast and you can find more content. Uh, what's really beautiful about this is that if you're just, okay, so so think of K92.3 like a beach, right? So you could just be on the sand. You could just come to the beach and listen to the music, right? That's great. We're not asking of anything of you. 
Or you can get involved and you can dip your toes in the water a little bit, right? Play the contest. Try to win the money that we we're giving away. We'll bring your sheet so the sand doesn't get in your crack. And then, why'd you have to say crack? <laughs> you know. And then, of course, you can be like us and do the deep dive. And that's you guys joining us every Thursday, which is the deep dive, like scuba. By the way, if you say it's scuba like three times fast, time. it is a weird word. Scuba, scuba, really scuba. I'm tired from this. Well, nobody so, told you to do that. I don't even have my arm up. Yeah, you did say. And your hand was up, but then you started talking. All right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. All right. Uh, to love, peace, happiness, your future. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. We're going to go back and relook at some of these comments. And thank you so much. Anybody else? $1,000 coming up in 20 minutes. All right. Three, two, one, break. Yeah. See y'all. <laughs> my shoulder's sore. <laughs> <laughs>